Hello and welcome to Business Reporters UK 2030 campaign. I'm Alastair Greener and today I'm talking to Patricia Zarita from BirdLife International. Good morning. Good morning. BirdLife International seem to be the quiet achiever when it comes to conservation. Why is that? I think partly because we have concentrated on the science and the conservation more so than speaking about ourselves and also because of the nature of what BirdLife is. It's this family of 115 organizations around the world that are actually uh, working on their own places with their own name and they come all under the same last name, having BirdLife as the umbrella organization. So it's been difficult to brand it. But we've been present since 1922. I mean, that's when we were created. So I think it is, it's that element of the, our scientific um, and science focus that has kept us a little more quiet. What about the name? You say you come from a sort of a scientific approach. You know, BirdLife International, where does that come from? BirdLife is using birds as the ambassador to protect the rest of life. The reality is that there's more scientific information about birds than any other group of species, animals or plants in the planet. And they do tell us what's happening with the planet. They are the ambassador of the rest of nature. So that's where the name comes from. Birds are helping us protect life. You talked a little bit about your beginnings, you know, all those years ago. Give us a little bit more detail about exactly why and how it started. What was the inertia behind it? So the reason why all these smart people got together in 1922 was because they were all concerned about the heavy trade of feathers uh, for the fashion industry. So the connection with business comes from the be very beginning of uh, the, the creation of BirdLab. But it was just that recognition that unless we actually work together, we're not going to make it happen and that the planet is a lot bigger. And I think that's the other element about birds. Bird life with the science is giving us that global view and that bird eye perspective of what's happening with the planet. And I think the other element that I love about BirdLife is the fact of working together. And it's these 120 organizations around the world coming and saying, unless we actually pitch in and follow the same vision, we're not going to enable the planet to, and us as a, as a species to survive. And nearly 100 years later, you're in, what, 115 different countries, all these organisations that you're working with. Give us an idea of how an organisation of that size, that scale, and in so many different countries communicates, gets the message across, and, and works with those other organisations. The magic to me of BirdLife is the fact that we have boots on the ground, understanding the reality in all these 115 countries, and then bringing that together to see how that has an impact at the regional and global level and what can we do and how can we use all this global science that we have to enable those local people to act. And because the, the organizations that BirdLife has as part of their family are local organizations, they have the legitimacy to talk and work with their political systems, with their local business, with their local communities, and be really em embedded and weaved on the system to produce solutions. And, and that's how we have actually engaged with business, for example. Um, in, in South America, we are working with local ranchers in four countries, in Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Argentina. We are working in, in Southeast Asia with the rubber sector. We're working across the world with the cement industry because we see the value of engaging with multiple actors and the fact that we have the power to be in all these different places enable, enables us to get all of that information but also to coordinate the work to have global impact. We've talked a lot about the work that BirdLife International does, the 115 countries that you're in, how you're working with other organisations and governments. For people watching this particular interview, what three things would you like them to take away from it? Well, crucial. Birds are an extraordinary ambassador of nature. We know more about birds than anything else on the planet, so we might as well listen to what they're saying. Number two, only working together and by building up strong partnership, we will make it happen, and the planet needs a massive change right now. And the business world plays a huge and pivotal, pivotal role on being part of the solution. And if we can create more of this public, private, civil society uh, partnerships. Well, thanks for coming in because now we know more about BirdLife International. We also know the importance of birds in the whole ecosystem and the fact that business and everybody else needs to sit up and take a look and make sure that we actually do act 
um, accordingly. It's been great finding out more. Thank you so much indeed for coming in. Patricia Savita from BirdLife International. Thank Thanks you very so much. much for having me.